Hello Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 7 friends, devotees, and diehards. This video is going to be a once in a lifetime event of me, Tana Greek Nose, unboxing the second installment of the highly anticipated remake trilogy of Final Fantasy 7. Now, Final Fantasy 7 is my favorite game of all time, and I've been waiting four years since the remake. We all played that during the pandemic, and it was amazing, but I've heard that Rebirth is even more amazing due to the virtue of, you know, the whole open world stuff, the delving into the character relationships, so I cannot wait to find out what's in store for us. I'm also joined by this new GameStop exclusive t-shirt of the whole gang. I'm sure you've seen it before. No need to explain. So ladies and gentlemen, I am feeling very hyped, very pumped, very rebirthy. And so I ask, please join me in this sacred religious experience that can only be had once in a lifetime. Without further ado, let's tackle this box. Can't wait to see Sephiroth in the flesh. Is Sephiroth multidimensional? Well, I do pose that question in my Sephiroth theory video, and honestly, I'm starting to think there's some credence to that theory because he has manifested himself, it seems, in our dimension. Ooh. So. Here's my rebirth game, everyone! Oh, it's so beautiful. Now it has a more like rainbow tinted color here. Remake was more green. As you can see, you can see the red here in the rebirth logo, which is basically a signifier, a symbolism for Sephiroth's world of Meteor, which I hope to get more acquainted with in this game. Defy destiny together. Cloud and his comrades escape the city of Midgar in pursuit of the fallen hero, Sephiros. As they travel across the world, they find themselves on a journey that will decide the fate of the planet. More like the fate of Aerith in this one, am I right? And now would you look at this here? It is the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Static Art Statue for Sephiros. And it is fragile. Who knew that Sephiroth was so fragile? I guess it makes sense. I mean, he is very sensitive about his mother, Genova. Do, 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 do. an ordeal to get it open. No, it's not. Or right, now after I've shaken the box out of the other box it was in, this is what it looks like. No picture of Sephiroth or anything. It's like the, um, if you ever had the uh, remake collector's edition with Cloud and Hardy Daytona, it was similar to, to that, basically with the logo. to the one-winged angel himself. Hopefully I can show you without this tipping over. Whoa. So here are the pieces of Sephiroth. I'll try to put them together now for you. This is his head. <laughs> I have Sephiroth's head. It's not Genova's head, it's Sephiroth's head. My camera doesn't want to focus. It only wants to focus on my face. Better luck next time, Sephiroth. And here is the wing. The wingy wing. The stand is beautiful. 
Oh, so I gotta push it out here, feet first. <laughs> All right, his body. I knew he'd attract a lot of attention, so... Uh, I mean, he's definitely going up on my shelf. No questions asked. This kind of reminds me of his Advent Children look. Well, it is his Advent Children work. look. What am I saying? I meant, it, I meant to say more like the first figure for him that came out for Advent Children. I still have it. Um, I don't have the sword because I lost it, but... It's giving me nostalgia of that. So here's what his face looks like. I think this is pretty decent. It might not be... Maybe it's not the best Sephiroth figure out there, but it's pretty good, in my opinion. Let's see. Where do his boots go? I think here. Okay. And now comes... The wings. I was like, where's his sword at? The Masamune. Just trying to figure out where to put the wing next. There was the part in the back. I wasn't sure if you should pop out, but of course the instructions said that you should. So that's this little piece right here. And here he is in all of his one winged angel glory. I don't have a Rotating stand to display him on everyone. Oh But you're gonna have to make do with this. It looks pretty majestic as is um, This these flames right here are gonna look so good with some with some cool lighting But uh, there's Sephiroth now. Let's dive into the deluxe edition game because as we all know, the collector's edition so far have been the deluxe edition and a figurine or statue. Which is fine by me because, hey, I'm a sucker who wants to buy those things. And this Sephiroth statue is pretty cool. Like, I don't want to say that it's a bad statue because it's not. It's actually pretty cool. So, here we have... The official game box and the lovely box art with uh, Cloud, Zack, and Sephiroth. And here we have the lovely Steelbook Edition with Zack and Cloud on it. And the famous Buster Sword. And this is the new mini soundtrack for Rebirth. Like we got one for Remake, this is Rebirths. So what tracks do we have on there? The Grasslands, A New Journey Begins, Battle Edit to Main Theme in FF7, that never gets old, uh, Farm Boy for Chocobo Sam, On Our Way, Sense of Calm. Follow the Black Robes, The Mithril Mine, Mithril Gollum. <laughs> uh, for Junon, Fortified Metropolis, Costa del Sol, Fun in the Sun, With Heavy Heart, Road to Coral, Battle Edit, With Heavy, heavy Heart, Battle Edit, When Barrett Fights, Dine, No Doubt, uh, Final Lap, Chocobo Cup, Final Lap, and then finally Lifestream, Fonts of Knowledge. I'm guessing that's when, perhaps when Tifa falls into to the Lifestream in Gongaga. I mean, because you can tell in the trailers, Anyways, yeah, I'll stop talking. And then finally, we have the art of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This will no doubt be in the in, in its own material, Ultimania. I said I, I wasn't going to look in here until I finished the game, because with Remake, everything was new. You know, I, I didn't know exactly what characters would be featured in that first part of the story, but it is an unboxing video, so... I got to uh, unbox. So we have characters. We have the foreword. 
Midgar was dark and gloomy, to say the least. Hissing steam, cold steel, and unforgiving concrete dominated the nighttime view's topside, while the undercity below was a mishmash of ran shackle slums and abandoned buildings. The world of Rebirth, however, consists of numerous expansive regions where the cities and their populations are just as varied as the flora and fauna surrounding them. Even the topology can, vast, can differ vastly from region to region, and it is this diversity, complemented by a vivid color palette, that shines through in every piece of artwork here. In the original Final Fantasy VII, the different locations were forcibly stitched together, and those scenes certainly showed. For Rebirth, however, the team was able to take its many sprawling landscapes and weave them into a single seamless map, an achievement to which this book could very well serve as testament. It not only depicts how this seamless continuity was represented artistically, but also how to expertly convey the charm of an immense and fantastical world. I sincerely hope you enjoy looking through all this art book has to offer. Yoshinori Kase, producer. Of course, Nanaki in Cosmo Canyon with his new render. The Gold Saucer with Kate, Kate Sith, I guess is the new pronunciation. And the Moogle, which is officially now named uh, as Mowgli. Cloud in his new render. Barrett in his new render. Tifa and her new render. Tifa! <laughs> uh, Aerith and her new render. Nanaki. I mean, spoiler alert. Well, not really. <laughs> Red 13 and his new render. Yuffie and her new render. Kate Sith. Again. Vincent Valentine. He's looking cool. Uh, there's a lot of Vincent fans because of Dirge of Cerberus and Vincent's just cool. And Sid. I'm really excited for Sid. I, I'm... I don't want him to be abusive to Shara, but I'm looking forward to see, you know, if he's like cussing as much, if he's being as much of a jerk to her as he was in the original. Zack and his new render. I mean, he didn't have a render and remake. He was more of a mysterious figure. Sephiroth. Oh my goodness. Cloud and Tifa at the beach. Wow. I have to say, though, they're looking good. I, I mean, come on. It's Cloud and Tifa. And they're side by side. Huh. No wonder, right? Aerith and Yuffie at the beach. I'm digging it. Hey, I, I'm looking forward to the Close del, to del Sol portion, okay? Mayor Xander, I guess the Mayor of Nibelheim. Johnny and uh, Rasher Zangan. Tifa's master's name. Now he has a first name officially. And it was pretty cool to get to know him in Traces of Two Pasts. So I'm looking forward to seeing him in the Nibelheim portion. I haven't played the demo, so I don't know exactly what to expect. And I, so I, I don't even know the gameplay. Like, I don't even know how it feels. Priscilla. Rhonda. Chloe, Billy. These are all characters that were in the original game. I'm pretty sure Rhonda was there too. They were just, you know, pixelated. Captain Titov. Huh. Oh, Zack's father and Zack's mother. Okay. Nice. Wow, they're looking, they're looking old. Wow. Elena, she looks good. And Cisne, she looks so good. Seriously, they look really cool. Is this... I forgot if this is Nomura's new style. It is, right? Or is it Roberto Ferrari? Either way, they look really good. And here's the famous Dio with his famous pecs. Dio is going to have fun um, with us in the gold saucer, torturing us. Titan... He looks so good! Wow. Man, this book is going to show us all the summons, huh? I feel like I shouldn't look through it anymore. Hmm. Man, they've never looked better. Just all these common enemies. They look so good. Ooh, here's a, I guess, a semi-spoiler? Genova Emergent. So I wonder if... Because in the original game, it was Genova Death that you fight on the boat. And I think Genova 
life was the one that came out when after uh, it killed Aerith. But I can't remember exactly in this moment. So emergent. Interesting. Will that emerge after Aerith's death? Ooh, and Jean Natak. That's the boss you fight underneath Cosmo Canyon. I can't wait for Cosmo Canyon. I haven't seen too many, I haven't seen any spoilers about Cosmo Canyon, and I'm glad because, hey, that's Red 13's arc. So I am looking forward to that. Ooh, it's Demon Gate. The fight at the, fir at the Temple of the Ancients. I'm so excited. I hope they really expand upon the Ancients. Wow, so the inside of the Temple of the Ancients. When you go underground, so in that one trailer where the guy was like, oh, please give us the Black Materia, I wasn't sure if that was under Cosmo Canyon because of the way it looked or the Temple of the Ancients. And I guess that this answers my question because as you can see here, it's red. This will be interesting. And then Gongaga, Zach's hometown. And that's where something interesting happens. I'm looking forward to it, man. Like that's gonna be one of the highlights of this game. Cloud and Tifa at Mount Nebel. Man, it's gonna be so good seeing how they react to their hometown, going back and seeing the water tower. Oh, I'm so hyped for the, like the, just the attention and care that's put into their relationship in this game. It's just gonna be so good. Cloud's weapons. So I don't know how many you get in this game. I guess these four? And ladies and gents, the tiny Bronco, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Can't wait to see how it controls and how we can explore the world around us. And of course, the new inclusion of the wheelies. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, the Chocobos. When I played FF7, my very first playthrough when I was a kid, I'll never forget, I had a uh, green chocobo and I named him Raster. And so when Final Fantasy XV came out and you could, you know, color your own chocobo and name it whatever you wanted, of course, my chocobo had to be Raster. The unknown journey continues. And that, as they say, is that. Wow. It's here. It's finally here. Well, everyone, I am so glad that you shared this moment with me. This moment, this fabulous rebirth moment. I couldn't ask for a better audience. <laughs> and thank you so much for all the likes, comments, and uh, subscriptions you've given me so far. I really appreciate it. All right, ta-ta for now. And next time you'll see me, I'll be streaming this game. So look forward to it. Tana Greek knows over and out.